That was a rough gig, boys. Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these things. Hope you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushkin. Today's video is about the DP28. The DP28 underwent some changes in update 2.5, the most recent patch where a whole lot of stuff was brought in, but this was the gun that really got the most out of the patch. And I want to talk to you about it for a couple of reasons, but most notably, it's very, very strong right now, and it's a gun that I think you should seriously consider, consider running in this meta. As you probably saw in the opening sequence of this video, it's a gun that can dish out a buttload of damage, and they've enhanced the parts of it that really tend towards that primary AR kind of role, like as a primary weapon, not as just a secondary switch weapon, although that is also where it's excellent. Anyway, if you wouldn't uh, mind leaving a like on the video, just if you like the video, leave a like on the video. And if you'd subscribe to the channel, well, that too would be bloody wonderful. Uh, update 2.5 has done a lot. It's It's been a pretty incredible patch in my opinion, but for the DP28, it's done more than most. The DP has always been renowned as a great secondary slot, long range pseudo DMR thing. Obviously, I've, I've bemoaned about Soul Mortal, the most famous of the uh, Indian YouTube team back in the day, and how he made this loadout famous, this DP28 AKM loadout famous. And that loadout is back in absolutely massive fashion. Before we go too deep on the meta though, let's touch on just the basic changes that the uh, DP28 uh, underwent in this recent patch. So they did a couple of things to the LMGs, the DP and the M249, but the most noticeable for the DP was that they changed it so that when you pick it up, it now has 47 bullets in it, which has always made no sense for me. You pick up a Scar L, there's not 20 rounds in the Scar L. You pick up an M416, it doesn't come with 15 bullets. I've never really understood why the DP28 started with 30 in the clip instead of 47 in the clip. They've also improved the accuracy when hip firing, and that is absolutely clear as a bell. It's been a big buff. We don't have any real numbers to show the value on that, but that is something that has been very, very clear for me while running the gun. Uh, they improved the damage to limbs. Now, this is good news, bad news. It's all good news for the DP-28, right? All good news. Because previously the DP-28 did 18 damage to a leg, for instance. Well, it now does exactly the same as the AKM, which is crazy. 32.4 damage to a leg. But when I last tested the AKM, it had 32.4 damage to both arms and legs. And that's been stealth nerfed somewhere along the way. So that now it does... 21 base damage to an arm area and 32.4 damage to a leg area. Um, the good news, bad news for this is that the AKM isn't as crazy OP on chest shots now because you'll hit arms quite often instead of vest. Uh, and now that number has been nerfed. And I have a, a serious, I don't know where it happened, but I have a strong inkling that they did that because it was just too strong. And or it was never meant to go live like that and it just went live like that. So I haven't p tested it again since like the patch day. Uh, but what this means is that particularly for the DP-28 on long range shots, on long range squeeze shots, it's really improved it. Think about that 18 to 32.4. If you're hitting someone at range in the leg, previously that would be an 18 damage shot. That's now 32.4. That's a huge chunk more. And you see, I'm running it with the AKM here. It's because the synergy now between the AKM and the DP-28 is better than it's ever been. The other thing they did was they added to both the M249 and the DP-28 a shield. And it only deploys when prone. So I never snake, but we had to snake to try and test this. And I've got to say, I was very worried about this. It's rubbish. Uh, it doesn't do a lot. One of the reasons is that when you're prone, it doesn't really stop anything. When, I'm trying to get this guy to shoot at me so that he'll actually... See how I'm angling up there? I'm trying to put the shield in the way. The shield in its natural state when you're prone and you're crawling around like this is kind of just sticking in the ground. It's not deployed when you're like this unless you actually really... See, I'm trying to get him to shoot me. This guy just wouldn't shoot me. Uh, so we tested it a little bit more and 
it's not that great. The shield is just not that great. It does catch the occasional shell, but it's probably more useful to the DP-28 than it is to the M249 because the M249 is not really any kind of a marksman. You don't want to be running the M249 as a long-range spray weapon lying down or, or proning. What you really want to do with the M249 is use it to suppress and spray in close quarters and hold a doorway or that kind of thing. This is what you want to do with the DP-28 at range. Note how I'm squeezing this. I squeeze the trigger on the DP-28. You don't just hold it down. Uh, people that are new to the gun will just try and non-stop spray. It's not an M416. It's not how it delivers its payload. It's got a 47.9 base damage round. It flies very slowly through the air compared to a 5.56 AR. We're talking about a 5.56 AR doing 900 to 937 meters a second, depending on which one you're running. The DP-28 is 714 meters a second. You're looking at a massive reduction. That's 200 meters a second minimum difference between the two. Where were we? Uh, the changes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I got carried away just talking about things. Um, and they slightly improve the running speed when the DP-28 is equipped. There is a negative penalty. Well, they're all negatives, penalties, aren't they? Um, that's a bit redundant, but there is a penalty to running with DMRs, LMGs, ARs, a slight, but LMGs and DMRs, there's a larger penalty. Sniper rifles, larger penalty. Uh, so they slightly reduce this. What this means is that they're pushing the DP-28 to be more of a primary slot weapon, or at least more of a weapon that you use in short to mid-range combat. Think about that. Your hip fire, you're not going to be hip firing at 150 meters. Your hip fire has been improved. Your movement speed's been improved. Uh, your damage to limbs has been improved. All the kind of stuff that you'd use where you're in house fights and you're spraying and such. That's what the DP-28 is doing better than ever. This is what it does badly. And this is a big mistake on my part. I'm going to show you that clip there. They're going to show you another clip here. This is for you DP-28 users. Watch how I start firing full on and then I go, you know what? Calm down. Just squeeze it. And if you squeeze it, you get the results. Um, it's very funny to me that even after all these years, I've still got to talk to myself. Look, I, I, you can see me. I know that this is not how I'm meant to be using the DP. And I've been mucking around with the sensitivity settings too. This is the weird thing. The DP has a sensitivity setting that is quite different to any other gun in the game. You want the ADS, say, on a 4X to be slightly lower than it would be for a full spray weapon because you only really want to control the first three rounds. Maybe maybe six rounds is the max, but then you really want to start getting it to a position where you're squeezing it, right? You've got to stop that because if... If you set it up to be a long-range spray machine, you're kind of ruining the intent of the gun. The intent of the gun is for it to be this really versatile kind of weapon. The other thing that is obvious now in this patch, and we'll go back to that original clip that you saw at the entry. Watch the DP-28 on the switch as a CQC weapon. The things we're looking for here are the hip fire. You're gonna see the hip fire. And look at the damage output. That's a couple of leg shots in there, and they or, or arm shots, and they drop. They drop really, really quickly. That synergy is amazing. Now you can run it with a, a Graza and a DP28, and it's just sitting so very, very nicely with a red dot. Like running the DP with a red dot or a 4x or a 3x. My secret vice is running the DP with a 2x. Running it with a 2X. Uh, it seems to just do really, 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 really well. Uh, you can see here, I'm like, well, let's get some more DP-28 footage. Watch the squeezing. So you get those little headshots in. And because obviously it's an AKM clone that's got a big slower rate of fire and a, a much better recoil profile, it hurts when people get hit with it. It it headshots for a full 110 damage when you don't wear a helmet. It absolutely knocks and clears people. I hate holding stairs. I'd much rather be proactive about things, so we're going to leave here. The sensitivity settings are going to take you a little bit to get cleared up, but I think this is 
one of the best, strongest world drop combos now. Running a DP-28 with an AKM is just a brutal, brutal, brutal loadout. You've got so many distances covered off on. You've got so much firepower. You can have, you know, 50 rounds in the AK and 47 in the DP. You can have a red dot on both of them. And you can have that mid-range spray with the DP-28 and then the CQC wildness with the AKM. And then if you run out of AK rounds, you can just switch them back and start hitting people with the same kind of firepower but better in the hip. Great, great gun now should be used all the time and definitely one of my new loadouts favorites for this new meta i'm bushka thank you so much for watching um look after yourselves boys and girls stay safe on the battlefield please like the videos and subscribe and as always bye for now Watch out.